Yeah. 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 Yeah.
for this particular adventure. Oh, you stay oh, here. Oh, yeah, exactly. Omorn, the, the ship's uh, head cleric, looking down at the pirates, sort of shakes his head and walks off uh, in disgust, muttering under his breath, for pity's sake, as he goes down the uh, down onto the main deck and below decks. Captain, I know that you're not taking him with you, but I'm really glad that you've given me this opportunity to be the cleric on this particular away mission, and I won't let you down. You know, it's, it's going to be a good day, feeling good. Listen, I think that this is going to be a very good away mission. It's a lovely shirt. What is that, red? Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's more, it's a, sort of a burgundy. Um, Will you uh, stop chatting and come down? <laughs> 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 um, and Trip, a Trip approaches you all. I cannot welcome you yet. We have some formalities to get through. Follow me, please. Of course. And then I call back to the ship. Uh, what are they called again? The fish, fish dwarfs? The Sariki. The Sariki. <laughs> Make sure the Sariki disembark safely. <coughs> yeah. Um, so, as you, th this is this is both Goebbels and uh, Alonso's first time ashore. Um, you take in the sights of these brand new uh, world that you find yourself in. Uh, there are creatures that are half fox. Uh, looking, um, there are creatures that are very pale skin. They look human, but there's a faint glow behind their eyes. Uh, you've got incredibly ugly, sort of very tall, muscular creatures that are walking around laughing in their little cliques as they go around. Um, and indeed, the ones that your acting captain is referring to are these uh, dwarf creatures of a dwarf stature, but they have sort of purple and pink uh, flashes through their hair. And if you look really closely, occasionally poking through the skin, uh, scales around. Um, it's worth noting uh, that the Spirit of the Horizon has not come across any major landmass yet. Uh, you've just been island hopping uh, across this world. Uh, so you're still in a very sea faring area. Can I get perception checks from everybody? So you'll roll your 20-sided dice and add uh, if you look on your other sheet, yeah, yeah, there you go, it says perception. Got it. Nineteen. Nineteen? Uh, also nineteen. Nineteen? Yes. Oh, okay. Nineteen buddies? Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen? Thirteen. Thirteen. Fantastic. Um, so Alonso and Gobel are just sort of taken aback um, by this shanty town uh, it seems to be actually quite prosperous. You look around, you see forges, you see blacksmiths. Um, that seems to be the main industry here, is blacksmithery. Uh, but there is also, uh, s people tend to be working uh, on, on jewels. They're, they're jewelers all around as well, goldsmithing. Uh, it's very a uh, wealth-oriented island, despite the fact that all of the people you see walking around, none of them are wearing any fancy clothes, none of them are wearing any jewelry. Um, uh, they are all carrying weapons. <laughs> um, so, uh, Golan and, I forgot your name again, <laughs> Golan and Jürgen, you see all this as well. Uh, on top of that, you do see the occasional goat. Um, and Jürgen, as you look off uh, into the, uh, the crag in the middle of the island, you see another village just higher up. Uh, and you get the idea that the, these were the natives of the island and the pirates have just sort of moved in and the natives have built their lives around these pirates rather than fight them they've been like this is where the money is <laughs> um, okay um do i know who, can we can we tell who it is that actually are the natives who are the, which ones are the members of the yeah group? they uh they tend to be this the the sariki that are walking okay. around a lot of the sariki are pirates but okay. the majority of them okay. are for want of a better word mm -hmm. goat herds okay essentially Captain, there's a lot of goats kicking about. I don't know if you spotted them. I saw them pretty much instantly. Yeah. I'm slightly concerned at the level of goats. Um, I don't trust them. Yeah. Um, I don't like the look of them. I mean, there was this one time, there was Wait. this goat. Uh, maybe there's not a time. Are but you saying <laughs> that we're... The cleric of joy is not a fan of goats? <laughs> are, you, are you suggesting that we're being led into a goat-based ambush? Well... <laughs> I'm just saying, if it happens, I told you so. I will take that into consideration. <laughs> <laughs> so, Trip leads you through this town, bustling. <laughs> um, you do, you pull lots of looks as you're walking through. You'll notice as you're walking through, there are no humans, there are no elves uh, in this area. Uh, These are just regular-looking goats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How bizarre! The strange world just yes. 
goats. Just regular goats. Regular goats. Oh. Single truth of the universe. There's there's a reason for it. <laughs> um, we've don't we've thought about this. <laughs> We're that kind of nerd. <laughs> so. Are we on the island of Doctor Moreau? I mean, is, that, is that what's happened? No. The goats uh, are just next. <laughs> so you're led through the town to this small uh, temple. It looks rather new, um, but it's completely finished. It's got skull motifs all over it. Um, the pirates are not being subtle about this. <laughs> um, there, there's skulls over the doorway. The columns have skulls carved into them. Uh, and it's made out of uh, it, this white, uh, whitey, blacky stone. So it's black stone with white uh, uh, veins running through it. Um, finished off with black obsidian jewellery uh, where, uh, where these skulls have eyes. You're walked into this temple... And you're met by three other pirates, mm -hmm. presumably. There's one of the big troll-looking creatures um, who just has a straight face and uh, very tall. He's definitely the most imposing figure in the room. Uh, there's one that is one of the Sariki, uh, sort of dwarvish figure. He's fiddling with a piece of gold in his hand. He can't seem to stay still. And then the guy in the centre, he's clearly the leader, is this... Iraban, that's the human looking sort of angelic creatures um, and he's got this cocked black hat with this beautiful red feather pricking out of it and he just gives you this grin as he comes in and he beckons to Golan at the front he says, come place your hand on the skull nobody tell Ullman I did this <laughs> <laughs> As, uh, as he steps aside, you see the altar at the top of the temple, and there's this beautiful skull. I mean, it's a skull, but it's inlaid. It's been made into jewellery. It's been inlaid with gold filigree, uh, and it looks incredibly expensive. Um, and you almost don't want to touch it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you definitely don't want to I touch it. <laughs> but I will. Repeat after me. I swear, I swear to abide by the rules of the cove. To abide by the rules of the cove. No blood spilt on land. No blood spilt on land. Never reveal the cove's location. Never reveal the cove's location. Honor amongst thieves. Honor amongst thieves. By Heratia, I swear this. By Heratia, I swear this. Welcome to the Black Cove. And he does one of those. Yeah. Large arm clasps and then steps back and then looks expectantly at the rest of you. Okay, so I'm going to um, first of all, I want to just quick, do a quick insight check to see what the vibe is of the room, um, just in case there's anything up, you know, that we're, you know, if there's anything around us that we're sure. In, in, in. Absolutely, roll an insight check. Yeah. Uh, nine. Nine. Yeah. Um, they're very suspicious of you. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. But then they're pirates. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I am going to. Can I detect evil on the on the on the skull? I don't trust the skull. I don't trust the skull. You don't trust. You don't trust the skull. I don't trust the skull. You can. Sp have you got detect evil as a yeah. spell? Yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can cast that. Okay. Absolutely. All right, um, okay. I don't think you actually need to do anything. Okay. I think that's a save on my part. Okay. That's a skull. This skull is definitely evil. Okay. All it's right. definitely evil. This is right. an evil so skull. While he's been looking at the skull and deciding how evil the skull is, I've just sort of brushed past and immediately placed my hand on it and gone, well, hello, you pretty thing. <laughs> <laughs> and Who's the this guy? Why did we bring him? <laughs> Listen, I think it's important that everyone on the ship gets a chance to stretch their legs and experience the <laughs> Goble, can you roll a, uh, a perception check for me as you put your hand down on the skull? 20. Fantastic. As you put your hand down on the skull, you notice that the skull is actually, the gold filigree across the skull is actually in the shape of a right hand uh, with the palm across the mouth. Um, and your hand sort of almost perfectly lines up with it as you put your hand down. And he turns to you and he goes, I swear to abide by the rules of the cove. Oh, that's very nice of you. 
repeat after oh, right, me. Oh, I'm very sorry. Oh, I, I swear to bite of the, the, yes, that thing. The, the rules of the code. Definitely no blood them. spilled on land. No, that'd be awful. No blood. Repeat. No blood spilled on land. Honour amongst thieves. <laughs> Honour amongst thieves. Never reveal the cove's location. Never re- Shouldn't you have checked this before we came? I mean, never reveal the cove's location. If you do not swear, we have ways of dealing with you. No, oh, that sounds funny. There's more of them than there are of us. Never reveal the co's location. By Heratia, I swear this. I, I mean, I don't... Okay. By Heratia, I swear. Who is Heratia? Thank you. <laughs> the god of brotherhood. The god of pirates. Oh, well, doesn't he sound jolly? Captain, she. I was going to say something. <laughs> I'll let him do it because he's a dick. But <laughs> the fact of the matter is, Captain, I don't think this skull is all it's cracked up to be. I, I, I'm slightly concerned that you're all touching up on it. No, no. And, um, listen, listen. And, and the, the lead pirate has turned his gaze to you now, Alonso, and beckons you to come forward and put your hand on the skull. <clears throat> I feel there's a, probably a check here I should do. Okay. What do you what do you want to what do you want to ascertain? What what do you want to find out? Uh, um the um yeah. The uh, the reasons why we definitely shouldn't touch this skull. <laughs> okay, well you've you've heard you've heard Jurgen say that, so uh, why don't you roll a religion check for me? Yep, that would be a good one. 18. 18. Um, this artifact definitely has religious significance, and obviously for believers, uh, swearing on this skull would uh, mean their life, uh, and you, you suspect their wealth as well. Um, you can't personally sense the evil coming off of it, but you know it's a dodgy situation. Alonso, is it magic? <laughs> Roll an arcana check. Oh yeah, that's good. I have loads of that. 21. It is magic. <laughs> <laughs> something <gasps> something okay. is... Can something is sell it? <laughs> something is going on with this skull that, that any, any oath sworn on it is not just a base oath it, it it binds you magically to your words as opposed to that's you can't just say it that's why trip doesn't tell us mm, mm. um okay so i'm just gonna i'm gonna just sort of carefully take a step back sort of near the door or the mouth of this skull cave that we're in it's a temple, temple. it's a very okay. nice building and I'm, <laughs> and I'm just gonna say listen that you know your beautiful black marble pirate n- 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 ness, your piratiness um, this is lovely, and I am a cleric of another of another goddess, so I can't swear by your goddess. But as a cleric, I give you my word that I will be uh, good while I'm here on your island. I don't really. I'm just here Roll a good time. Roll a persuasion man. check. <laughs> <laughs> Roll please, be high, please be high. Please be high. My persuasion is minus one. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. And he looks to you and says, this is who you decide to bring on land. <laughs> to the Black Cove. Everybody gets one. <laughs> uh, it's, it, it's important for people to stretch their legs. So it would be nice to have a cleric with us. Yeah. And he unleashes his cutlass and holds it to your chest and says, you do not have to believe, cleric, but you will say the words. Okay. Can I say the words without touching the skull? No, I think that's probably part oh. of it. Yeah, I think that's... <laughs> it's a really nice it. skull. Look at All it. Right, it's okay. shiny and pretty. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to reach out and we touch it. Can I, can I just hover? Very Just lightly. slightly hover above me. Just like a, tip, like a fingertip. Just go like... Yeah, one fingertip. Yeah. <laughs> they are. Like, and he says, repeat, I swear to abide by the rules of the cove. I swear to abide by the rules of the cove. No blood spilled on land. No blood spilled on land. Never reveal the location of the cove. Never reveal the location of the cove. Honor amongst thieves. Honor amongst thieves. By Heratia, I swear this. You swear by your own god. By Lyra, I swear this. Roll an arcana check. Okay, yeah. Six. For God's sake! Well, how did the twenties of the bitch? 
that's fine. And he goes, nah, was that hard? Uh, it's not... <laughs> <laughs> now oh, you. How's Alonso feeling right now? <laughs> um, I seriously don't think this is a good idea. Alonso, we're just gonna have to grin and bear it. We're just gonna have to do it. I didn't like doing it, but we've done it. And if we don't, these guys are gonna chip us up. So just, 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 just whatever he needs, so we can move on. Because they're making a swear to something they've yeah, already shown. There's so a it's lot pretty of sure there's a lot this. of pirates in here. <laughs> Before I swear that I will never re re reveal the location of the cove. I'd like to know the location of the cove. Oh, there's a map in my phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, like, got... it's like a 3D thing. Uh, it's it's not thing, a 3D you know. thing. He's, uh, <laughs> he's, he's joking. It's... <laughs> that's actually how we found it. Because, exactly. Because we learned of the existence of the cove from Captain Tripp, but not its location, because, because she, she physically could... couldn't tell us because of the spell. So instead, she directed us to a shipwreck, and we found the map. And that's why we found it. I was able to decipher it. He was. With mad skills. Mad map reading skills. Mad map reading, like you wouldn't no, I believe. don't have map reading on my list of skills, <laughs> no. so I'm very impressed. Yeah. Um. <coughs> okay. Okay. I, yeah. If you guys think I should, I will. I just want to record, I don't yeah. think you should, but we kind of have to, I think. Otherwise, they will stab us. Yeah. I'm just being babies. It's just a skull. It's, just a skull. <laughs> it's for the good of the ship. You keep saying that, Captain. I, I don't think it means what you think it means. <laughs> Insubordination, is it? <laughs> so do you place your hand on the skull? I do. Yeah, okay. And he goes, repeat after me, I swear to abide by the rules of the cove. I swear to abide by the rules of the cove. No blood spilled on land. No blood spilled on land. Never reveal the location of the cove. Never reveal the location of the cove. Honour amongst thieves. By Haratia, I swear this. By Haratia, I swear this. Roll an Arcana check for me. Eighteen. As you finish the words, you feel a sort of wave of magic pass over you for a moment. Um, and you are now bound, you know, by the words that you said. There we are. And... Um, when you finish this, he puts his sword away again. And he goes, finally, welcome to the Black Cove. Uh, let's go somewhere more comfortable and party. Marvelous idea. And he leaves. <laughs> I could do it with ten. <laughs> <laughs> and he opens the door um, behind the, the uh, in the rear of the temple uh, to the side of the altar and leads you down some stairs into this open, uh, <laughs> fairly dingy, uh, but open sort of uh, council room. There's a big throne at the top and a long conference tables either side. Um, and the three pirates uh, that aren't him, that is uh, the troll-like one, the Sariki, and Trip, Trip Mitty, uh, the fox-like one. Oh, Trip's a councilwoman. She is, she is a councilwoman. Uh, sit, as a captain, um, sits at the table and uh, this guy goes and sits in the throne at the top and he goes... I am Lokash Viratu, King of Pirates, Mayor of the Black Cove. Who are you? I am Golan Height, Acting Captain of the Spirit of the Horizon. We are a science research vessel. I like to be a little direct, Golan, Captain Golan. Is it you that have been harassing my vessels around the West Reach? No, no, we haven't been harassing any vessels. We, we only got here a week ago. And uh, the big troll-like one brings his fist down on the table to the side of you, like, in a... And he's like, I don't believe them! Just not happy, Captain. Start talking, talk quick. Oh, right. Yeah. Listen, our ships have been harassed and keep disappearing around the West Reach. This has been going on for two years now, and we haven't found anyone to blame for it. And we then you come out of nowhere, and he stands up. We only got here a week ago. Ask Trip. Trip was one of the first people we met when we arrived. And Trip sort of leans back in her chair and goes, I only met them a week ago. I don't necessarily know that they only got here a week ago. Look at how strange we look to you. Somebody would have mentioned us. <laughs> <laughs> 
grown we, we, are, we are man made of skin. It's true. Well, so, <laughs> so is he. <laughs> Persuasion. Persuasion check. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, the troll like one sits down and goes, This is true. We do get all the news here. Trip bore news of you and your ship. Um, the Sariki, the one that was fiddling with the gold coin, looks completely bored. He's just not listening to this conversation at all. He's just still flipping his gold coin over his fingers. Well, if it is not you that has been bothering our ships, why are you here? We're here for, we're here for supplies, and we are here for information. We just want to go home. Yeah. Where is home? Not on this plane. Not on Havmar at all. Yes. Well, never have we had a ship from beyond Havmar grace our docks. Surely you will have some exotic goods that we can trade in. I think as... <laughs> Do we have any exotic goods? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> You're a scientific research vessel. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have I mean, I've, only got, I've only got, I've only got my, my special pouch, but that's for purely personal and distances. Yeah. We can give them Philip's rocks, so I don't mind. Didn't... didn't um, Philip is uh, the geologist aboard the ship that, that Golan really doesn't like him. <laughs> didn't the dentist have all manner of... She keeps coming back with all like teeth and shiny things. The, the dentist does keep picking up shiny things. That's true. He could just, you know, yeah, yeah, but that's good from this plane. But they're pirates, they don't care. Uh, we, we don't have a lot of supplies with us. As I said, we are, we are not a military vessel. We are a scientific research vessel. And having been here a week and we've had a full crew, plus all of the Sariki that we rescued from a nearby island, uh, we are running low on stores and have no exotic goods. Uh, the Sariki now, without looking at you, he asks, can I ask a question? And then doesn't wait for an answer. Can I ask a question? If you came from beyond Havmar, how did you get here? Uh, would you believe absurdly powerful magic? <laughs> <laughs> I would believe absurdly powerful magic. Why would you believe absurdly powerful magic? Oh, I'm always willing to believe in absurdly powerful magic. <laughs> 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 absurdly powerful things you like. And then we all just laugh. <laughs> 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 Why are we laughing? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Where is this absurdly powerful magic? Perhaps we could trade you for that, your supplies that you require. Well, you have to understand that the absurdly powerful magic is what's going to get us home. Yeah. We, we need to hold on to that. Wait, so you spent, and he, for the first time, stops playing with his coin. You spent up this absurdly powerful magic, and now you're looking for more absurdly powerful magic on our world to take back with you. Not to take back with us, just to use to get us back. Which implies that you believe that it exists on our world. We, we, we have reason to believe that it could potentially exist. You believe it exists. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a deception check. <laughs> you saw through my clever word. <laughs> uh, 18. No, not 18. 16. 16. <laughs> you seem a very confident for someone who is merely chasing potentials. Well... Potential's all we have. A week ago, we didn't even know where we were or where we were going. And now look at us, here, in front of the mighty Pirate Council. A lot can happen in a week on Havmar. Yeah. The sea's a cruel mistress. We're working on a small piece of information, and we were working with um, one of your locals who may or may not have betrayed us. Not a local. Not no, a local. No, local, local. That's actually not a Black Cove local. No, no. no. That's actually what we wanted to so do. So local as in she lives on the planet where yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually what we wanted to do. That's actually one of the reasons I wanted to parlay with all of you today. We believe that they may be this individual may be heading towards this source of powerful magic, using it for who knows what ends. And uh, I don't know if you will recognise this, but Trip, I'm sure you will, and I just like frizz beer onto the table, that half moon. Pin. Trip picks it up and goes, No, I don't recognize this at all. Where did you find this? On on her? 
Uh, on, not on her, she had a similar one, but it was on the corpses of her compatriots. They ran into some fungal zombies. We fought a giant mushroom monster, by the way. It's worth, worth mentioning that. She yeah. tosses it to Lokash. <laughs> completely ignores that. Tosses it, <laughs> tosses it to Lokash. Lokash catches it and looks at it and goes, So in one week, you've managed to uncover a secret organization that we didn't know about. Wasn't that hard? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you're worth keeping around. Uh, we seem to have a tendency on stumbling into things. Uh, trouble just seems to find us. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's sorry. Twenty minutes. So, are you saying that you have uh, no one on the council has even an inkling and understanding? what this symbol means or what organization it might be tied to? Not a clue. Insight on the entire council? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Does anyone else want to join in on this? Yeah, sure. For God's sake. That is a big, fat four. I've also got a four. <laughs> what are we? 17. 17, hey, 20. Yes. 20. Yes. <laughs> yes for the new piece. Now you know why you This them. is why we brought them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> exactly. Um, well, de Gook, uh looks at the uh, the eyes of Lokash as he's saying this, uh, and Alonso picks up on this as well, and he's genuinely surprised and confused by this crescent moon, silver crescent moon pin uh, that you've thrown him. Uh, he is definitely hiding things. Uh, you, it's mostly you, Gobel, that picks this up. Uh, he is definitely hiding things, but then again, he's a pirate. <laughs> um, as as for the other captains at the table, um, the Sariki one is uh, he's he's completely he's not a good liar. Uh, his guard is completely down, uh, and you can see straight through his confidence that he wants this magic and he wants you to lead him to this magic. Uh, Trip has other things in her mind, but she looks like she's keeping that back at the moment. Uh, the troll-like one is just desperately trying to follow the conversation. Captain, kids. And so neither of you two know any of that. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> just, I don't know. Yeah. Thoughts, Alonso? Yes. Hey, let's go up to the king of the first. So, hello, buddy. Speak to me. Low cash. <laughs> we can deal with that later. You got, we, we don't, you don't know what this thing is. We don't know what this thing is. You want to know more about this thing. We want to get home. Can you help us do that? Can we look into this thing for you? Can we do a bit of a tit for tat thing here? Do you've got me? <laughs> Maybe we can investigate the source of your disappearing ships as well. Well, you seem to be apt investigators. No one has ever said that to me before, but yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Dugook, I swear to God. <laughs> You're not helping us. <laughs> I will bust you down to the cleaning crew and you will directly under Twinkle Toe. Here, here is the deal. Here is the deal. You fill up your supplies, whatever you need, from the Black Cove for free. First time only. Everybody this one's always free. <laughs> <laughs> you come back to us when you have found the people who have destroyed uh, and kidnapped our ships, and when you have found out about this secret organization. So, so you've been looking for them for two years, just to Two years. Uh, and you exp Yeah, and sure, we'll be able to do that. Two, weeks we might, <laughs> two years might take us two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Trip jumps in. There are rumors, of course. And uh, and he, uh, the Sariki one, you don't know his name yet, <laughs> the Sariki one just sort of groans and rolls at his eyes. Um, and the uh, the troll one sort of does this. Um, it's obvious that they're, they're sick and tired of hearing these rumours. Lokash turns over to Trip and goes, It's not your friend. What? I'd quite like to hear that information. <laughs> I'm sure it's Dea. Dea? Dea Grail. Captain Day and Lokash cuts in her. She was never a captain. She will never be a captain. Fine. Day. I feel a weird pang after hearing that, and I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> <laughs> Acting captain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just feel a it's weird pang in my chest. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to, could you tell Day was an Arabian pirate. She was working her way up the ranks, but she decided to betray our code. She stole from her own captain left him on an island to die, we found the body, uh, and took his ship 
and constructed Libertalia, the pirate haven. And do you know where that is? I'm sure you know everything. If I knew where it was, I would probably be there. Do you think it's bound by a similar code to the Black Cloud? It's certainly very secretive. We've not been able to find it. We've not been properly looking for the last two years. And she shoots a look over at the other captains. And they, they all just sort of shift uncomfortably. Apart from Lokash, who like stares her down like... So, <laughs> the ships that were lost, were they taken or were they destroyed? They disappeared. They disappeared. Was there any? Was there ever any survivors? No. They disappeared whole cloth. In the west, did you say? Around the west reach, but oh, east, the east of here. Yes. How have you? If you don't, if you, if you don't know where this place is, or if it even definitely exists, how do you? How have you heard of it? It's a legend. Dea was talking about it all the time. She said one day we should sail off and started up. I thought she was just drunken garblings. You know how things are, don't you? I do know drunken garblings. <laughs> if this place... Is that a barbed comment? <laughs> Slightly barbed. If this place does exist, do you have any any idea as to where we might start looking? Of course. We just need to track down one of the ships from Libertalia mm-hmm. and uh, and then interrogate the crew. Easy as that, so sure. track down a ship from a place that might not exist. Okay, this is a good plan. Fantastic. And um, the Sariki, the short dwarven one, ste- gets up, he goes, I've heard enough of this. Low cash, and he just leaves. I have a plan. It is true. This is true. Well, this has been lovely. Uh, We're just going to to sort out those supplies that you said we could have. And Um, uh, we'll see you. Just make sure the message gets back so, you know, your supply stores don't think we're just stealing from you. uh, And the skull thing. It's all been lovely. Uh, Thank you. Lokash pulls out a a scroll and writes for a moment, rolls it up, and wax seals it with a ring on his right hand and hands it to you. There. Thank you. That should see you through. Uh, thank you so much for your parlay and your hospitality, and you have a lovely island, and, <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and a beautiful skull. Uh, <laughs> the skull, with the skull. I mean, I what you've done with the pretty. skull motif <laughs> is lovely, <laughs> and we are going to go to the supplies now. Yes, <laughs> aren't we? Quickly. Yes. Yes. Oh, because uh-huh. you're doing that, roll a deception. No. <laughs> 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 well, all of us are just, <laughs> just, just Golan. That's a critical success. Yes. Sure. He goes, yes, you must be hungry. <laughs> Off we go. So you leave, you leave the pirate counts, uh, council chamber. Um, Trip follows you along and, goes, uh, and talks to you as you're walking through the temple and out back into the village. She, she talks. Uh, the short one, the uh, Sariki, that was Hirt, Hirt Vepena. I don't like him very much, do you? No, he seemed oddly interested in this magic. So here's my plan. He's going on a, uh, on a, a tomb raid kind of thing in the next couple of days. Uh, I'm going to put around rumours that he has found a way to locate Libertalia and that's what he's going to go and get. Now, if those rumours get put around, they definitely have ears on the island. I know this. That will lure out one of the ships to try and stop here from finding them. That's the plan. So you're worried there might be spies on the island? It's the Black Cove. There are spies everywhere. It's the island. goats! It's not It's not the goats. <laughs> Bloody goats, Captain! <laughs> it might be the goats. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. I knew it as soon as I saw the pointy little faces. In a world where there's polymorph, you can never, <laughs> never <laughs> trust a goat. <laughs> Everywhere. That, that's a quote for you there, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> I had a quick... Trip, trip, <laughs> trip. Where is this tomb raid happening? Is it what this is being the I'll west? come with you. It's it's further east of here. We're quite far east and north of here. But I'll come with you. I'll guide you. I'll leave my ship here. Your ship's smaller. It will be less spotted. We'll trail him. This is the plan. 
will trail him and then jump on whoever appears to try and stop him. Excellent. Okay? And for you and your other cleric, this involves no actual piracy. I just haven't seen my friend for two years. I want to find her and make sure she's okay. Okay, fair enough. Yes. I actually had a quick question about the boat. Yes. Um, now, now that's a symbol. And her, her ears prick a little bit, as mm. you said. That's a symbol that I showed you. Uh, I picked it up of, a, of, of the puffy corpse of one of many uh, robed, uh, hooded robed bosun. Um, in, in fact, we encountered one called Campbell. It's an irregular plural, actually. It's just bosun. Oh, bosun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we encountered one called Candle from the same uh, sect. Um, Candle? Yes. Never heard of her. Now, now, she was a... What's her full name? Do, we do not know that, do we? Uh, yeah, Golan might not know it. The, sh- the people on the ship certainly do. People on the ship do. Roll... Brina knows. Brina knows. Um, <laughs> roll a, um... Uh, I guess a history check. History. Oh, all of us? Uh, yeah, everyone on the crew. Yeah, yeah. 13? Yes, 22. 14. Eight. Eight, uh, okay, well... <laughs> yeah, yeah, because Jürgen's been hanging out with Rina. Uh, her full Vosu name, uh, Vosu name, you, you made me do that. Uh, her full Vosu name is Candle in the Dark. Um, and her sister, Candle in the Wind. <laughs> no, she she died 20 years ago. Oh! 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 <laughs> uh, right. Uh-huh. No. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, candle. Uh, her full name. Uh, full. Any. Anyone. Uh, anyone. Uh, along it's cancer. Ca- uh, cancer. <laughs> no. Wait, no. 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 Sorry. Sorry. Too much Neil Pike. Brina mentioned when she was talking to her that her name is Candle in the. No. Candle in the dark. Candle in the dark. Candle in the dark. Candle in the dark. No. Still never heard of her. Well. It could be an assumed <laughs> name. She was also a magic How user, many candles means... had you heard of out of interest? <laughs> it always helps to know the full name. <laughs> yeah. My full name, for instance, I don't know if you two know this, uh, is Trip to the Summit. Trip to my friends. Well, well, she was a magic user, <coughs> and I've heard that's frowned upon. She was a magic user? Yes. Yes, the Volca are outcasts in our society. Oh, she was a Volca? Was she a Volca? They have red sort of fur. Uh... She was, yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got you back. Um, yes, yes, she was. Well, that's why I have not heard of her. No. She'll probably avoid Vosu society. No. Is, is there but a... I've never seen this crescent is, moon. Is, is there a central hub? Is, is, there a, is there an island, a location where most of Volca congregate? The Volca? I wouldn't know. Well, no. They're pariahs. Why would I care? Very true. Well, well, they might be interested in this very powerful magic themselves. Yeah, maybe. Absurdly powerful. Absurdly, absurdly powerful. Absurdly that absurdly was what powerful. was established earlier. Yeah. Well, well in that case, we should, we should, we should head down and ensure that these supplies get onto the ship. Mm-hmm. I'll put Plumage in charge of sorting that out. After yeah. Plumage, by the way, is the someone you picked up along the way, the official ambassador now uh, to this world, to your ship. Uh, he's a bird man sort of creature. Uh, of course, of course he is. Plumage. He's called Plumage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the... Hashtag man called skin. Uh. <laughs> is, 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 is my old cabin currently empty? Yes. Right, okay. Well, trip, you can take my old cabin. I'll move you to that. Well, first we need to spread these rumours. Will well, you yes. help me spread these rumours? Who's good at rumour? I'm looking at you, Dago. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I'm certainly good at drinking and talking. Those Fantastic. Are, I, 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 those are two of my favourite things. I'm headed to the Drunken Octopus right now to do that. Excellent. You hit up some of the other taverns. Excellent. And we'll meet back at, y- at the uh, your ship. What's your ship called? Spirit of the Horizon. We'll meet up at the Spirit later on in the day. Yes. Right, I think this is a very good idea. We'll see you back on the ship. I think we'll go one way and you'll go another way <laughs> because that always works out when we divide <laughs> yes. as, a, as a boarding party. Split the party. Exactly. Um, Let's go to the pub. Do, do we have, do we have whatever this world accepts as money? 
you will have items to trade, and you'll have personal sort of gold. Uh, as far as you can tell from the goldsmiths around you, um, roll a perception check as you're as you're trying to work this out. Thank you. Twenty-two. Uh, Twenty-two. Um, the goldsmiths around you are pressing gold coins. They're quite openly forgeries <laughs> um, here on the on the island, and so that that just sort of reassures you that gold coin is accepted as a uh, uh, as a currency. How many how, how many pubs are about? Oh, there's a few. There's a few. Isn't <laughs> it's there? a pirate town, isn't it? It's a pirate town. <laughs> Can we do this via montage? <laughs> yeah, sure, 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 sure. Uh, let's do this via montage. Everybody, roll quickly. Oh, any more Add bonus? your charisma bo- bonus. Oh, what? Minus one. Minus one ten. Nine. Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, no, 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 no. Char- charisma bonus is there? Yep. Yeah. Four. 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 Okay. <laughs> So, bearing those numbers in mind... We suck his spread in rivers. <laughs> bearing those mi- uh, moments in mind, we'll, uh, we'll jump to each of you very quickly in the last five minutes to see what you do to do this. So, start with you, Golan. Oh, you're, you're, you're in one of the taverns just drinking away. I have to say that... I have to say that... Oh, you're not drinking away, actually, are you? <coughs> well, I could have a little bit. Well, okay. I could have a little bit. Fine. He's completely off the wagon. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, this is a brilliant island, and... and it, and you, and you know what? When I was meeting the council, the council were lovely. Even though, um, what was his name, the Sariki one? Uh, the Sariki one, Hjerd Vepina. Captain Vepina. Yeah. Captain Vepina, he was especially nice. It's a shame he had to dash off. He's looking for Libertalia, you know. Apparently he found a map. Ah. Yep. That, that, that succeeds. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you yeah. say? So I'm just hanging out outside, outside the, the tavern. Sure. Having a quick bit of my Lira leaf. Yep, sure. So, uh... Roll a constitution check. Okay. <laughs> Thirteen. Uh, yeah, sure, you're getting a nice buzz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> so, uh... You guys hear about, uh... A little Italian. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a myth! It's a myth. I don't know, man. I don't know. You saw those pirate boats that have been going missing? There's some guy, right? Here's my hand. Right? Yeah. The guy with this... Skull, right? You know the skull guy? No crush. Right? Yeah, right? He reckon. That is my guy. Um, what's his name? What is his name? <laughs> Cap- Captain Vepina. Yeah, okay. Uh, wep- weapon hand. No. Ve- vi- Ve- vi- Ve- vi- 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 Vepina! 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 Yes! The Sariki! Vepina! He! He's a man. And he's, he's an island. Boats. Natalia. Italian. That also succeeds somehow. <laughs> um, Alonso, you rolled a four. You've got the hardest job here. <laughs> what do you do to spread this rumor? Well, you know, there's this dude and there's a place and there's some ships and a, uh, the, uh, oh, there's, there's a place that doesn't exist. I'm just on the other side of the boat. And, uh, <laughs> and, the, and, the per- <laughs> and the person you're talking to just sort of shakes their head and goes, <laughs> you've had too many. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, and we'll finish off with the 19 yeah. de gook. So Gobble de gook. Cut to me in, in the bar. Surrounded by <laughs> I'm on the back of somebody's shoulders coming towards the end of Shaggies the song. And all. I'm cutlers <laughs> in all of my decorating. <laughs> 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 And Trump dies, I love you, I love you, oh yes, I'll definitely see you later, yes, and you, and you, and hello you, uh, yes, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm going off to this thing, Libertaria, little captain, heard, heard about heard, he's going to find Libertaria, I'm going with, no, I'm not going with him, I'm going near him while he's doing it, and brilliant, I'll come back and we'll drink more, yeah! Baggins, sure I know a Baggins! <laughs> um, I've got a rule. Yep, that's a definitely a success. And as the crew helps Trip spread these rumours, uh, we're just going to zoom out on them and the island with the black beaches, and that's where we're going to leave this hour. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's hand back over to Naomi quickly. Oh, thank you very much, everyone. And thank you to our two um, play- players. Can we give them another Fantastic. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah, yeah. Good effort. Uh, Ruth and God, God, David. David.
Uh, also, we will be streaming the entire thing live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash eventualwanted, and we are live tweeting at eventual 250 and you will see some quotes from yourselves there, uh, so do enjoy that. Uh, um, one more thing we like to do here is that we do have some people on the, um, on the, um, who are playing that have Edinburgh shows themselves, so we can do a quick cheeky plug. Do we, do, very quickly, are either of you involved no. in shows? No. No, fantastic. Okay, go chess. Uh, I am in a sketch group called Dirty White Boys. Our show is called <laughs> Stupid. Uh, it is on every day at Just the Tonic at the Caves at 9.20 p.m. It's a pay-what-you-want show, so it's free to get in. Uh, we think it's a really funny show. People have been very nice to us. It's Somebody gave nice. us an award at the end of last year. That was nice. So we think this is a really good show. We're very proud of it. We'd like people to come see it. Yeah. And uh, I am in a show called Imaginary Porno Charade, which is a <laughs> which is a panel a comedy panel game show, which sounds exactly as it says in the tin. It is charades of made up pornography. Uh, we are on every Friday, <laughs> Saturday, and Sunday night at eleven o'clock, um, and we are a five star show. We got five star review, and we've got guests from all of the friends, um, all all throughout the all throughout the festival. So come and see it. There we go. Thank you very much. Thank you. If you would like to stay for the next hour, you do need to pop downstairs and refresh your tickets. But you are more than Oh yeah, other absolutely. Than that, um, other than that, <laughs> thank you very much. Gobbledygook is only the second best name we've had. Still, Trouble Will Be on Burn, still holds that title. <laughs> so, I don't know, go for the good. Thanks very much, guys. That was brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are the others?